With the release of KCPE results earlier today, calls on the government to maintain the same level of strictness employed during the administration and marking of KCPE examinations to the just concluded Kenya Certificate of Secondary Education Examinations continue reverberate. Teka Sub-County Director of Education, Ronald Mbogo, says the efficiency was as a result of collaboration between the various government agencies tasked with overseeing the exercise. This has been very successful. We are happy to be involved in this exercise of regaining credibility and dignity of our national examinations. We are set to continue serving the nation and ensure that our children get what they deserve. Elsewhere, Deputy President William Ruto says the government has put in place measures to ensure that the students in middle-level colleges access loans from the Higher Education Loans Board. Speaking at the Kenya Medical Training College, Ruto said one billion shillings from HELP was available for the students from mid-level colleges this year, stressing that no student will be sent away on account of lack of school fees. In accordance with the relevant provisions of the Kenya Medical Training College Act 1990, and having satisfied the examiners in your fields of study, I award you the respective diplomas and certificates for which you have qualified to perform and serve in all that appertains to those. Meanwhile, residents of Nyaribari, Masaba constituency, have taken issue with security arrangements along the Kisi narrow common border. The locals claim security officers deployed to quell the skirmishes in the area have been doing so little to secure peace. In Kilifi County, families facing starvation due to the ongoing drought are said to receive a monthly fee of 6,000 shillings to mitigate the effects of drought. Speaking while distributing relief food over 20,000 people from Kazandani sublocation in Margarini constituency, Kenya Red Cross General Kudinita Hassan Musa said a cash transfer plan has been rolled out as a plot project and will run for the next six months. <laughs> Finally, in Laikipia County, a report by an ungovernmental organization has revealed that many child abuse cases, including female genital mutilation and early marriages, go unreported despite efforts to curb the vice in Laikipia, Samburu and Isiolo counties. According to William Kiget, the chair of One More Day for Children organization, there is a need for collaboration between all government actors to ensure that the girl child is protected. For Channel 1 News Hour, I am Parry Marble.